up my chicken for seasoning by soaking in some lime juice or you can use lemon juice or lime juice for 20 minutes and then rinsing on a cold running water. Our seasonings for our chicken today are going to be very simple. We're going to use a bird rub, some Worcestershire sauce. I also added a little additional water for the marinade and some fresh herbs. Here we have some nice fresh thyme and some rosemary. The bird rub has a great combination of spices. We have sage, thyme, rosemary, and then light brown sugar, salt, paprika, ground mustard, basil, and black pepper. And one of my favorite things, no MSG. So we're gonna enhance those flavors, of course, by using the fresh rosemary and thyme from the garden. After seasoning the chicken with the Worcestershire sauce and the bird rub, I just nestle the fresh herbs in between the chicken thighs, the rosemary and the thyme, and that's going to start getting those flavors into the marinade and into the chicken. If possible, you can cover this with plastic wrap and marinate it overnight in the refrigerator to get all those marinade flavors into the meat, but if you can't, then just an hour to make sure that it sits in those nice juices until you're ready to bake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. A couple times during the marination process, I will baste my chicken and right before it goes into the oven, I'm basting the chicken thighs again with some of this lovely marinade. And that's gonna keep the chicken nice and moist as it's baking in the oven. It's been 30 minutes, so I'm going to take the chicken thighs out of the oven and switch it around. This looks great and it smells fantastic. So what I mean about switch it around here, I like to rotate after every 30 minutes. Depending on what I'm cooking, sometimes it's every 20 minutes. So just rotate the pan and then I'm going to baste the chicken thighs and just put it back in the oven for 30 more minutes. The timer just went off and it's been another 30 minutes, so let's give this a look. Oh my goodness, beautiful. I do like to pour some of that natural gravy that the chicken cooked in.